Hey, in today's video, I want to walk you through how to fake a tilt shift effect using alien skin software. So I, a few years ago, I decided a tilt shift lens would be like my ultimate dream lens, just because the way it photographs is so dreamy with like, you know, the blurry lines going through the images. And I just love that effect. So like typically I just shoot really wide open to get like kind of the same feel, but this, I just felt like takes it to another level. So um, I'm so impulsive. I of course just like bought it right away before ever trying it. And then it sat in my office for literally a whole year. It has knobs on it and I was just like really intimidated by it. And it just felt, it feels like one of those lenses you can't just jump right into and take to a session and just try out because it's first it's manual focus. And then of course the knobs that I needed to get over. Some knobs tilt it, some knobs shift it and I didn't know which did which. Finally, literally after one year, um, I it just felt like it was time. So I looked it up on YouTube and turns out it's like really easy to use. And um, it actually is my favorite lens to use. So um, it can be a little tricky. So I shoot a lot of families. So um, if I have a, like a large family session or literally more than like two people in an image, I don't use it that often just because it's harder to keep all their heads um, in focus. But I love it for a couple sessions. I love it for like maternity sessions and boudoir, things like that. Um, and then it's fun to just pull out every once in a while during a shoot. However, I'm really not a fan of like changing my lenses, especially because I photograph on the beach. So I'm usually kind of like a one lens girl. I just stick it on and that's what I use. So this is can be really helpful. Since I love tilt shift so much, I can just pick out a few images from the session that I wish I had used that lens on and add the effect later. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so um, I have chosen some images that we can edit together um, ahead of time. And these are from a bunch of different shoots, um, all different types of lighting situations. So we are going to open all of these up into alien skin and edit them together. So um, and this is it's really easy to get them over to the other program. I'm on a Mac So I'm gonna hit command a to select all of the images and then I'm just gonna right click on any of them and select edit in and then um, The program on my computer. It's called exposure X. That is alien skin So I'll just click that and then it's going to make a copy of every image and then they will open up in alien skin and we can edit Okay, so this is the alien skin dialogue. Um, it will feel pretty similar to Lightroom for you. As you can see over here, they're all of the, um, they're like the modules we have available in Lightroom, plus some like extra fun stuff, which I love. And then over here are the alien skin presets. So these come loaded with the um, program and sometimes I love layering them over um, an edit that I've already done on an image. And so all you have to do um, if that's something you wanted, what is just kind of like roll over them. And so if you like this one, but maybe it was a little too strong for you, um, you can just whoa back on that intensity, which is so nice. I know that's something people always wish Lightroom had. Um, anyway, we're just going to leave them as they are because I won't, I'm not doing a whole alien skin tutorial this time. But so to do the tilt shift effect, we're just going to hop right over here to Boca. And then um, you can choose the shape of the blur that you want to add. And so to emulate the um, tilt shift lens, I'm going to choose this middle one so that the lines are straight. Um, this first one has like circles, so it'd be, I feel like that would be more like a lens baby. I have never shot with a lens baby, but it does kind of feel like more of that round kind of blur that it adds. And then I'm just gonna bring my blur in. So this is like when you change the aperture on um, the tilt shift, it's gonna make, um, you know, just basically your plane of focus is going to be smaller. So it would go like from the top of her head, like down here to her hand or something. 
And then um, to see the effect, all you have to do is slide the amount slider over. And you can see like it start like anything on the middle line is going to be in focus and it's going to pull more out of focus as you move away from the line and then the strongest out of focus is past those diagonal lines so the secret is just to like not go too heavy with it keep it kind of subtle so i'm going to make my lines bigger i'm going to put that middle line because the most important thing that i want to have stay in focus is their faces so i'll make sure they're on that line and then i'm just going to dial this back a bit As you can see, it like really doesn't take much um, to get like that cool effect. Like even just that, just like a little bit of subtle something can really kind of add some interest into the image. So I like where that one is, so I will leave it there. And then this one, um, you can see the, the circles came up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the, um, the lines though. And you can see right here, so the lines have a square and the circle is represented by the circle. <laughs> um, so when you press that, it goes over to the circle, so I'd be controlling that now, but I'm just gonna hit the delete button to delete that one, so I've only got one blur going on this image. And for this one, let's do the, um, let's do a diagonal, okay? And then I'm just gonna add a bit of blur. And this image, um, look, it looks so cool on it because of all the texture we have on the walls and stuff, okay? Love that. And this one I've been dying to see it on. So I'm going to delete the circles. By default, it just applies the circles when you go to the bokeh. Um, and I think I'm going to keep it keep just like that. And I might raise it just a little bit. I want to keep that bit of her face. Maybe we'll just have it go out right near the top of her leg a little bit. Awesome. This next one, um, let me go ahead and delete the circles and my lines. And I think I'm gonna go on the diagonal again here. Love that. So see, it's like super easy. Oh, I'm zoomed in a little bit here. There we go. Um, it's super easy to add, like not complicated at all. Let me just delete the circles. Um, we'll try a vertical on this one. And then just the plants fall out of focus while she and the chair stay in focus for that one. And we'll try this on them. I especially love a tilt shift effect for like really intimate images like this because it just really kind of like helps set the mood, I feel. Love that. This was in Scotland. And I think with paired with that fog, I think that it's gonna look really cool. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I love that one. So many of these images, I wish I had um, taken the time when I shot them to add this. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna bring it up to her face a little bit more and kind of add it and then see what I think. I like how it kind of, um, you know, the blur, I feel like it kind of almost helps add some motion to her dress that's being swept away by the sand and after you apply it you can also still kind of play around with this with the you know the angle of the blur that you're adding so i love how like the stars are getting blurry and out of focus and then these were keeping in focus i feel like that looks so cool um i think i'm gonna keep it that way i like that 
I love the star. That's my favorite thing. And these stars I actually edited using um, another effect in Lightroom. So those obviously weren't there when I took the image. So um, I just added those in Lightroom. And I feel like it makes them look more real. I feel like it didn't look that real um, without the tilt shift because the stars are so sharp. Like they really should have been, you know, more blurry since the background is so blurry. So this kind of helps it feel a little bit more realistic because with the tilt shift, some of those stars would have been in focus right behind her, like anything on that plane of focus, whereas the ones, you know, above and below would have fallen out of focus. So that really works well for this image. Um, we'll go ahead and delete these. And if you are needing help with your edits, um, I have a really great editing course called Embracing the Storm. And all of these images, I actually took these from the catalog I used to teach that class. So you get all of these raw images and I show you how I edit all of these plus a ton more. Um, so I will link that for you if you are interested in um, learning more about editing. And so I do all my edits in Lightroom and then afterward um, I take them Sometimes, like this, uh, I'll take them into um, alien skin for effects like this or portraiture to do skin smoothing. And then I show all the ways that I use Photoshop to um, help my images as well. But um, almost exclusively, I use Lightroom unless I want to add something extra like this. We'll go for a vertical on this one so that we can keep both of their faces in focus. It just, I don't know, it makes everything feel just like a little bit more intimate because you're really just focused on, you know, just really a sliver of the image adding the blur like this. And again, I'm gonna go on a diagonal and kind of put it over their faces up here. Love that. And then finally, our last one And then we'll just add some blur here. Oh, love that. That works so well for this image. Cool, okay. And so once you're happy, you can just save your images and um, they will pop back over in Lightroom for you um, and kind of replace, it will replace the copies that it built for you. Um, I hope you liked this video and learned something new. And uh, thanks for tuning in, bye.